told they had no right to live here. At the High Court in London, Amber Heard has been questioned about injuries that she claimed were caused by her former husband, the actor Johnny Depp. She's been giving evidence for a second day at the libel case brought by Mr Depp against the owners of the Sun newspaper, which had claimed that he was a wife-beater. He strongly denies the allegations. The Grenfell Tower public inquiry has heard how a manager at Rydon, that's the main contractor for the refurbishment of the building, ignored an email which expressed concern that the new cladding could be combustible. Rydon Simon Lawrence received an email from Claire Williams of the Tenant Management Association, uh, which ran the tower, seeking clarification on whether the new cladding would resist a fire. There is no evidence that Mr Lawrence or anyone else from Rydon responded to that email. Doctors and teachers are some of the workers in the public sector being given an above-inflation pay rise. The Chancellor said he recognised their vital contribution during the coronavirus pandemic. Labour say it doesn't make up for years of real-term cuts. Rishi Sunak warned today that there will be tough choices to come with pay restraint in the future as he launched a review of all government budgets over the next few years. And the latest figures reveal that he borrowed nearly £130 billion between April and June of this year, that is a record amount, as our economics correspondent Darshini David explains. After months on the front line, almost a million public sector workers are set to get financial recognition. From September, prison staff and police officers will get increases of 2.5%. As for doctors, they'll get 2.8% backdated to April. Teachers too are included, they'll get 3.1%. Other groups, for example nurses, are included in existing deals elsewhere. That doesn't mean, however, their incomes will be back up to rude health. Once you take into account the cost of living, the real pay for some might...